Did you know that there's one skill, just one skill, and it's really easy, that if you figure it out, you can actually up-level, exponentially improve your ability to communicate and solve problems very, very easily? I'll tell you what that is right now. I'm Daryl Black, and if we haven't met before, I take my 30 plus years in crisis leadership and corporate pro project management, managing big disasters and emergencies and also big projects, and I take those lessons that I've learned in those environments and help you, the corporate manager, the CEO, the entrepreneur, improve your leadership and improve your connections and ultimately increase your impact, build your influence, and really boost your income. Before we dive too far into it, one of the skills or the suite of skills that I'm going to be talking about and one of which is what we call active listening. As human beings, we're not really good listeners. There's a multitude of reasons for that. There's a difference between hearing and listening. First and foremost, really important for us to get that out of the way before we even get into a conversation about hearing or you know listening and, and improving our communication. The difference is this. Hearing is an individual, sender of a message is talking. So very physically speaking, they're creating a vibration. That vibration goes through the air, creates waves, picked up by our ear and our, our inner ear, all that stuff, and then it goes into our brain and then it's interpreted. Now that interpretation is something that's very, very important and that is now where we get into the listening piece. So we have the hearing, that's just noise, and we hear really well but we don't listen as human beings. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. One of the reasons we don't necessarily listen is because we are trying to figure out what to say. And as I go through some of these things, I'd like to have you reflect on whether this is true for you. And so somebody is talking and yeah, 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 we're, we're hearing them, we're hearing them, but we're not truly listening. What we're doing is, is we're formulating in our mind either a counterpoint or an argument or something like that or just our next sentence. As a result, our brain isn't doing two things at once very, very well at all. So while we're thinking about what to say, we're not actually listening to the other person. Another thing that happens is we are locked into a perception already. So I don't know if you've ever been in this situation in a relationship. Chances are 100% of you have, but hey, I'm no mathematician. But You've been talking to somebody and no matter what you say, their mind is made up, no matter what. Even if it's not in your interpretation factual, even if they are not hearing the, the facts as you are relaying them and turning that around, it's the other way as well. So we're locked into a perception and that perception actually influences what information we take in. And the reason it does that is a system that we call the RAS, Reticular Activation System. And I'll talk more about it in other videos, but the RAS is essentially a filter. And it is filtering all of the pieces of information and input around us. So that's what we see, what we hear, what we feel, what we smell, all of those other things. In the context of this conversation, the RAS if you are locked into a perception already, the RAS is filtering, that's its job, it's filtering out information that will not support or serve you. So if you're in a perception that somebody is wrong, we've all been there, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, your lips are moving, but I ain't listening. I ain't hearing anything. So, and I'm not saying that we have to change our perception all the time, but from a pure listening perspective, if we're locked into something, it is very, very difficult for us to process and to listen effectively. So there's a whole bunch of reasons why we aren't really good listeners, and, and I could go on and on, but in this 10-minute tactic, it's all about a suite of skills around listening, and we'll talk about one of them called active listening. And active listening is exactly that. You're actively listening. You're not being passive when you're listening. As I said, there's a whole bunch of them, but I want to give you one in particular uh, that I use all the time. And I would encourage you right after this episode to start thinking about using this. 
And all it is is restatement. It's all it is. It's restatement. Wow, profound, Errol. Thanks. Here's what restatement actually is. Somebody says something. So they, they say a sentence. They say a multitude of sentences. What you're doing is, is you're actively listening and you are processing. And then at the end of that sentence or those that paragraph, whatever that is that the person is saying, you say, hey, okay, what I'm hearing you say is this. Boom, boom, boom. And what that does is, is a bunch of different things, but essentially it is forcing you to slow the F down and actively listen because you are going to be restating. It's almost like somebody is giving you directions to the store, right? If somebody's giving you directions, and this could be a bad example for all of us dudes out there, but well, we don't even ask for directions. So uh, dudes, um, maybe just, just imagine. Okay, imagine we ask for directions once, okay? Fine. So it's like somebody's giving you directions. You know what, you're being very, very deliberate. Okay, I go down there, okay, I do that. Okay, and then I turn right there, and then I go down 100 meters. Okay, got it. Well, when you're actually actively listening, you're doing that same kind of attention, or you're giving that same attention to that person. So restating is really, you're restating directions. You're you're restating a lot of those key points. So it's like, okay, what I'm hearing you say is this and this. Is that right? And what that does is that is that right part now throws it back to the sender, the person who, who you're talking to, and it allows them to also to say, yes, yes, that is what I'm saying. Or, mm, no, not quite. That wasn't quite clear there. This is what I meant when I said this. Boom. And that ability to restate is so, so important. And it's really, really simple to do. But if you make it part of your SOP, your standard operating procedure, that active listening technique, restatement, what I'm hearing you say is this. I promise you, I promise you, your communication skills will go through the roof. And even no matter what the situation is for me, if I'm in a crisis situation, I'm in managing an emergency or a project or you name it, restatement is really, really important. I use it all the time because uh, I've been described as a stream of consciousness thinker. And, and, and what that means is I talk as I think and I think as I talk. So I, I work through my thought process by talking. And so I actually use it kind of in the reverse way that I'll spew off a whole bunch of directions and we're you know responding to a, a flood or we're doing a big presentation or something like that for a project and uh, or formulating uh, a plan. And um, I'll go just rattle off a zillion things that are seemingly not connected at all. So I'll actually, as the leader, say, hey, you know what? Sometimes I, I have a tendency to speak really quickly, particularly under stress. I just want to make sure I'm communicating effectively. And that individual, even if they're not actually knowing they're restating, that's what they're doing. Uh, and I can promise you there, there's been a few times uh, when you say, hey, can you just restate? And they're looking at you like, I'm out. Uh, can you can you say all that again? <laughs> because like I said, we're not really good listeners. It's, it's just not not a habit that we have. And also, if you're a facilitator or an instructor and a, and a student or a participant asks a question, I use all the time, hey, what I'm hearing you say or what I think you said, is that right? Just to make sure that you're answering the question. So there are some real world applications, particularly under stress and, and particularly if you're like a stream of consciousness thinker like myself. So uh yeah, restatement. It is a, uh, a go-to that will blow your communication up in a good way. If you found this active listening technique, the restatement, valuable, like this video, but even more importantly, subscribe to the channel because then you'll get notified when I drop new videos. And right now we're at a pace of a couple videos a week at least and so you'll be automatically notified so when you log into YouTube boom it's uh, it's going to let you know that there's a new video also it will notify you when there's live streams and all sorts of opportunities there thank you